We turn now to the end of an era, another popular retailer going out of business, Bed Bath & Beyond, for decades a go-to for home and college dorm supplies with those big blue coupons. Well, it filed for bankruptcy yesterday, the company announcing it will now begin winding down operations. Here with everything we need to know, NBC's Brian Chung. I feel like I've been reading this headline mm -hmm. yeah. for a while, that Bed Bath & Beyond was in trouble, but now it's official, it's filing for bankruptcy. Does that mean the stores are closing? Yeah, that's exactly what that means, and I'm having flashbacks of my own experience experiences going to Bed Bath & Beyond shopping for uh, my college supplies. But look, this is a company that's been struggling for a while, as you've mentioned. They've been saying that, look, if we can't raise our, uh, the money that we need last minute, we could ultimately file for bankruptcy, which is what happened ultimately yesterday. That means that uh, 360 locations, and by the way, 120 Bye Bye Baby locations, oh. which is also owned by the same company, uh, will start to liquidate. So essentially, here's the timeline. Starting on Wednesday, you will no longer be able to use those iconic 20% off coupons that we're all familiar with getting in the mail. Uh, that's because the sales are going to begin starting in the store. So pretty heavy discounts expected on that Wednesday. On May 8th, that will be the last day to use your gift cards. And then on May 15th, merchandise credits and customer rewards will no longer be accepted. And for those that, by the way, have wedding registries that are associated or linked yeah. to Bed Bath & Beyond, they will ultimately keep that. You can't buy any products for the registry, but they say that they'll be transferring it to another well, platform. Speaking somewhere down of the line. weddings, uh, David's Bridal uh, filed for bankruptcy as well. Is this something that we're seeing with retailers around the country? Yeah, it's not just David's Bridal. Yeah. When we think about other iconic brands that we all remember and kind of, you know, associate with American life, like Toys R Us, Sears. Those are yeah. large companies that ultimately went under in just the last few years. Some of that is uh, accelerated by the pandemic with the move to e-commerce, but a lot of it is also kind of the secular move to big box retailers. People yeah. don't want to go to specialized stores anymore. They want to go to one-stop shops where you can get all of it done. You mm -hmm. want to get that extra bath towel, but then also, oh, wait, I have to get that extra can of, of diced mm -hmm. tomatoes. You can just go to one stop to do that as opposed to going to those individual Just real quickly, I mean, sometimes companies file for bankruptcy and then they're still around. Yeah. They're still open. Is there any chance of that for, you know, somebody comes in and buys them, I guess? Yeah, that, that, is, that is a chance. And what Bed Bath & Beyond said is that Chapter 11 means that they're reorganizing. They could ultimately auction the assets of Bye Bye Baby and also Bed Bath & Beyond to another buyer that could attempt to resurrect it. But again, what we know of Bed Bath & Beyond in its current state will no longer be the case. Toys R Us tried to get resurrected by another company in the form of pop-ups inside of Macy's. It didn't really work out. Yeah. Bed Bath & Beyond, the form we know it, is just no longer. Sure. All right. right. Thank you. Aww. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.